Hi everyone, in this video I will be talking about the horizon line and how it affects your drawing such as when you are drawing buildings, architecture, cityscapes. Now this video is a follow-up on an earlier video where I talked about vanishing points. I will put that link to the earlier video in the video description below. So vanishing points happen to be on the horizon line and today i want to talk a bit more about vanishing points and horizon line so what is horizon line horizon line or the horizon is basically where the sky meets the ground if you do a search on google images you can see very obvious examples of the horizon so take a look at this photo so this is the sky and it meets the ground at this line so this is the horizon or the horizon line and the horizon is where all the vanishing points are in this case the vanishing point for this road it's right here the horizon can only be seen when there is nothing in front of you that's blocking your view so for this imaginary city scene that i have sketched you can see there are a lot of buildings and these buildings are all in front of the horizon line which is why you will not be able to see the horizon line however the horizon line actually affects this drawing because all the vanishing points for these buildings they are actually on the horizon line all right let me do some sketching with the help of this reference photos while i talk more about the horizon line these reference photos are actually used for my past tutorials which are available on youtube as well as on my patreon page i'll put the link to where you can find all these photos in the video description below all right um, let's maybe draw this scene the first thing you should know and remember is your eye level usually coincides with the horizon line. So for this particular photo, it was taken on a second floor and the horizon line is actually somewhere around here. So it was taken on a second floor, which is higher ground, which is why we are able to see uh, more of the ground so when i sketch something like this i'm just going to do a very simple uh, sketch so when i sketch something like this the horizon will definitely be in my mind i'll be thinking of the horizon line so i'm sketching the front here first where there are a lot of horizontal lines and as i sketch the side that's where knowledge of the horizon will come in let me draw the horizon line with this red pen you won't be able to see this line in the photo because it's blocked by all these buildings now for the lines that are going towards the left they are going towards the horizon line so they actually have a vanishing point on the horizon line but we are not able to see that vanishing point because it's outside of the pitch but all you need to know is there is a vanishing point somewhere outside and as you draw towards the left side that line will taper down and if you draw towards the right side that line will taper down because there's another vanishing point on the right side and for lines that are below the horizon line they will go upwards so for example this awning here you see this line here this line is not horizontal it's actually tilted slightly because it goes up to a vanishing point and this line as well so even though we are not able to see the horizon line all these elements here they are affected by the horizon line because the vanishing points for all these elements here they are on the horizon line so when you draw the windows for example you can see this vertical line it sort of intersects the horizon line here the line up here will go in this direction whereas the line below the horizon line will go in this direction like this oops i drew it a bit too uh, tilted anyway if you draw something like this where it's perfectly horizontal here and perfectly horizontal at the bottom it's going to look a bit off same thing for the roof on the right side let's say there's a vanishing point here um, just to make it easier for you to visualize so this diagonal line will go to that vanishing point which is on the horizon line 
and this line here will go to the vanishing point as well and the bottom of the buildings the bottom of the pillars here they will go to the vanishing point as well so that's what I think of that's what I usually think of when I'm drawing where is the horizon line and where is the vanishing point here's another photo one that I've probably used too many times now second thing you need to know is regarding perspective every side of the wall will be affected by vanishing points so even if the wall is facing you directly it's also going to be affected by vanishing points in this case here the vanishing points for the top and the bottom it's actually so far out on the left or right that you can't even see it because these are parallel lines they are going to go like into the distance however for this side of the wall you can see the lines they are pointing downwards like this they actually go to a vanishing point somewhere here and this side of the wall basically any wall that is um, tilted like this wall here is tilted from this wall and this wall here is at a different angle from this wall and this here is different is at a different angle compared to this all the walls all the sides that are different they will have their own vanishing point so we are going to have one set of vanishing point for this side another set for this one for this one for this and one for this and remember uh, vanishing points they are always on the horizon line so let's draw this for this sketch i'm going to draw this wall first the front facing wall and this photo was taken at normal height so the horizon line is actually somewhere here i think i may have squatted down to to take this photo this photo was probably taken with me um, squatting down so the eye level is somewhere here at the waist level of this person or maybe slightly higher so now that I know where the eye level or the horizon is when I'm drawing I need to sort of visualize where the vanishing point is on the horizon line where the vanishing point for this side of the wall is on the horizon line so when I draw I can just draw like this I may use knowledge of the horizon or I may just observe the angle and draw and this wall again it turns so I need to visualize where the horizon line is and draw that angle okay uh, looks something like this we have shorter short houses here and then we go to the other side and this wall here this side here this wall the vanishing point is on the horizon line as well it's somewhere around here so let me just draw that horizon line with a real line so the vanishing point is probably somewhere around here and i can just connect this line like this and we hear the front the front is very easy to draw because we have horizontal lines at the top and horizontal lines at the bottom okay now there is actually a very tall building just behind this block of building and the side of that building is parallel um, it's facing the same direction as this side of the building so they should share the same vanishing point in this case the vanishing point is somewhere around here so when i draw the building behind i need to make sure that the line that goes to the vanishing point goes to the same vanishing point like this yep i believe it's a shopping center that's behind i can draw some windows here now if there is another building that's behind where the wall is not facing the same direction as um, this building for example if i draw a line like this this is another perhaps another shopping center or residential block behind 
you can see this line here it's not going to the same vanishing point here and this tells me that this side of the building here this is facing a different direction compared to this side of the building when it comes to urban sketching usually we are standing on the ground looking upwards but what happens if you are drawing from a very tall building so take a look at this photo the horizontal line it's somewhere here we are able to see the horizon because we are so high up in the sky that nothing blocks our view except for this building here which blocks the horizon line behind so this horizon line has an infinite number of vanishing points for all these buildings here so if i zoom in here you can see there are sets of parallel lines all these lines here that are going um, into the horizon they are actually going to a vanishing point let's draw the horizon line here i'm placing this line just beside this horizon line okay let's draw this building on the side here first so this building um, it's really tall i'm using this building i'm drawing this building here so that i know where to draw the other buildings okay so time to draw the shorter buildings now let's draw this building here now this building you can see the lines uh starts here the lines will go to the vanishing point somewhere around here and this line these two lines will go to the same vanishing point which is somewhere around here so when i'm drawing i need to have those lines go to the vanishing point and if the buildings are side by side all those buildings will share the same vanishing point now for the other buildings towards the right side across the street this line here will go to the same vanishing point as well because these buildings here they are facing these buildings here they share the same vanishing point and there is a taller building here the top of the building here this line here will go in this case to the same vanishing point as well and this line will go to that vanishing point as well so you can just keep drawing and have all these lines point to the vanishing point as you move to the right side you can sort of see this uh, line that's sort of curving that's because the street is starting to move so for this building which is this one that i'm drawing this diagonal line will also go to the vanishing point which is on the horizon line so basically all the buildings that you see here um, all the diagonal lines that you see see this diagonal line here anything that is not horizontal anything that is a diagonal line will go to a vanishing point in this case um, let's see where this is so this building this line will be like this and this will go to this vanishing point this diagonal line will go to a vanishing point which is on the horizon which is somewhere to the very far right side and when I draw this side here, I need to make sure that it goes to the vanishing point here. So when you're drawing a cityscape like this from a very high um, area, high position, all those buildings that you see below, all the top of the buildings that you see below, all those lines will have to go to a vanishing point somewhere on the horizon. Here's another example of a photo which was taken really high up, maybe on the 30th floor or something. So the horizon line is somewhere here. You can see this building here. Um, this building here. Now for the windows that are very close to the horizon line, those windows are going to be almost horizontal. 
and in this case it will be this row of windows here so when I draw these windows I can draw them like this the top of the window is not directly on the horizon line so it's going to be tilted slightly and all these diagonal lines they go to a vanishing point which is somewhere around here so if you know where the vanishing point is I'm placing it here you can just draw the windows towards the vanishing point and you will get the right uh, angle so for example if I want to draw a window right here I just need to point the top and the bottom of the window to the vanishing point usually when it comes to drawing uh, something like this uh, skyscraper or a very tall building with a lot of windows I will find where the vanishing point is on the horizon line and then draw the windows right at the top at the bottom and then I will draw windows here in the middle and then I will draw here basically um, draw the center and then draw the center draw the windows between and then the windows between and the windows between I find that it's easier for me to get the angles of those diagonal lines right see all these residential blocks here they look like rectangles now with this drawn I can place um, all the other elements in the scene relative to this very tall building that I have already drawn so I'm drawing this here let's draw this which is just a rectangular block now remember this line and this line they will go to a vanishing point somewhere around here so when I'm drawing I need to sort of visualize where that vanishing point is on the horizon line and draw towards the horizon line these two lines are parallel in concept but uh, when you're drawing they are not exactly parallel because um, because of perspective okay let's draw another building these two buildings seem to be side by side so they share the same vanishing point which is somewhere around here so as I draw I need to point them to the vanishing point so all the vanishing points for all these buildings are on the horizon line and when you draw the windows in this case I'm representing the windows with lines like this those lines should go to the vanishing point as well which is again on the horizon line and see these buildings here in the background they are not facing the same direction as this building so they are not going to have the same vanishing point as these buildings but you can still draw them they just have a different vanishing point in this case the vanishing point is further away on the right side somewhere around here so again I'm going to try and visualize where that vanishing point is and draw those buildings these two buildings are side by side so they share the same vanishing point yep and you can just use this concept of the vanishing point on the horizon to help you draw all the other buildings you can also use the horizon line to place people in your scene so for example with this photo it's a city scene with a lot of people this photo was taken with me standing so my eye level is uh, somewhere here about the same height as all these people here um, some of the people here are shorter than me so uh, later on I'll teach you how to draw those people to be a bit shorter and some are taller so let's say I want to continue to draw this scene onto the pitch so I'm going to place this horizon line somewhere around here and let's continue to add more people so in this case here my eye level will intersect the eye level of all these people here 
So let's draw a lady here. The eyes are here, intersecting the horizon line here. So once I know where the eyes are, uh, I know that the head is about uh, one eighth of the total height of the body. So I can just draw something like this. And I can draw the legs here. So we have one person and we can draw many people in the background. For the many people in the background, my eyes will intersect their eyes as well. So in this case here, I can draw a person that is smaller. The proportion, the shape of the person will still be there. You just have to place the person's eye on the eye level like this. And if the person is standing really close to us, we can draw um, the eyes bigger like this and proportionally everything else will have to be bigger and again we can draw more people in the background just make sure their eyes are on the horizon line because uh, in this case my eye level is the horizon line now if you are squatting down and your eyes intersect the waist level of all these people then all the people in the scene you have to make sure that their waist will be on the horizon line here's another wonderful photo this is Hanoi and we can see a lot of buildings that obstruct the horizon line behind but all these buildings they are still affected by perspective so when I'm drawing something like this, let's draw this uh, two tall buildings here first. When I'm drawing something like this, I have to think about the horizon line all the time. So for example, uh, when I'm drawing, uh, when I'm drawing this building here, you see this one, the one with the green roof. I'm going to place it uh, right here. Okay, the diagonal line will go to the horizon line somewhere around here. Sorry, the vanishing point, which is on the horizon line somewhere around here. So I'm just drawing, I'm imagining where the vanishing point is and I'm drawing the diagonal lines to that vanishing point. So each time I draw one of these diagonal lines they will have to go to a vanishing point i think the vanishing point is some uh, the horizon line is somewhere around here so when i draw this build the roofs for these buildings here they have to go to the vanishing point definitely uh, check out this photo and think about where all those lines are going Try and find the vanishing points for every single roof, every single set of parallel lines that you see. So this is actually a very complicated sketch, but as long as you get the direction of these lines, the sketch is going to look um, convincing. So when I'm drawing, I um, always think about where the vanishing point is. You see as the buildings go to the left side those diagonal lines they become more and more horizontal because those lines are going towards the horizon however those lines are not horizontal they become more and more horizontal but they are not horizontal so if you can get all those little angles right um, your sketch is going to look really uh, fantastic i mean you are going to get the perspective spot on now this sketch it's very difficult to draw if you are drawing just using observation skills because um, there are just too many angles and all those little angles they are they differ by i mean each diagonal line that you see here they differ by the other diagonal line by a very slight angle so if you are going to be drawing with observation uh, skills observation techniques uh, it's going to be very very challenging so that's where the knowledge of 
the horizon and the vanishing points on the horizon that would help tremendously cityscape scenes like this are very challenging to draw because there are just too many things to draw but it's very satisfying if you can get um, the perspective right let's take a look at this um, photo so this building is sort of facing earth but due to perspective you can see this line it's sort of curves so even if a building is facing you directly it's actually also affected by vanishing points on the left and also on the right side so because this building is so wide as we draw towards the left side you can see the lines they start to tilt start to curve even though this side this building here the front here it's completely flat but due to perspective uh, when you draw it's going to curve very slightly especially when you're drawing to the side and for this photo we are not able to see the horizon line as well so when drawing this particular area um, okay great we have a zoom in so the horizon line let's try and find out where the horizon line is to find where the horizon is in this particular photo we just have to look for the most horizontal line in this case here i think it's this you see this white line here this is definitely horizontal so this is where the horizon line is so it cuts towards it cuts it goes to this pink building here and right below this uh, roof here so i will remember all these key marks so the horizon line it's here it's below this roof here it's right here it's here so when you draw when you draw the diagonal lines at the top they have to go to this side you see this roof here this line here this looks very horizontal but it's not it's actually tilted so slightly that the vanishing point is somewhere because the vanishing point is somewhere on the left side and this one um, this roof it looks horizontal this one definitely not horizontal so this will go to a horizon sorry go to a vanishing point on the horizon line somewhere out there so you have to find all the vanishing points for all this 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 and this and this and this this uh, it may seem to be very tedious but believe it or not um, as you get the hang of it when you uh, draw more and more with more practice all this will become subconscious so when you are drawing you don't even think about the horizon line anymore so when you're drawing you can visualize where those vanishing points are for all these little um, little uh, roofs and the tops of the buildings so it definitely will take practice to get better you see this this line here this line this diagonal line is also affected by the vanishing point on the horizon and all these vehicles here they are also affected by the horizon line you see the top of this bus here this diagonal line and this line here they actually point to this line here and this line here they actually point to a vanishing point somewhere uh, remember the horizon line is here so the vanishing point for this bus is actually somewhere around here yep it's somewhere around here so all these little uh, vehicles here they are all affected by the vanishing points on the horizon line earlier on i mentioned that the eye level is usually on the horizon line that is only true if you are looking towards the horizon line so take for example with this photo this was um, found somewhere online um, this photo was taken right at the top looking down so when we look down there's no horizon line in the ground so in this case um, there is no horizon line to help you however all these diagonal lines that you see here they are still affected by some vanishing point and you have to find where that vanishing point is or 
you can just draw something like this based on just observation techniques. And when you look up, you will not see the horizon line as well because the horizon, it's not in the sky. So for example, with this photo, this was taken with me pointing the camera upwards. Um, the horizon line is on the ground somewhere. Can all these diagonal lines you see, they are affected by the vanishing point, which is on the horizon line, which is down there somewhere. You can see all these diagonal lines, they are pointing down. Uh, somewhere so you can imagine where the vanishing points are for all these lines or you can draw this with observation techniques the main thing to take note when drawing something like this when you cannot see the obvious vanishing point or the obvious horizon line is um, make sure to check the angles angles that are affected by perspective those angles are not going to be the same so this angle it's different from this angle this angle is different from this angle even though um, you know in real life that these two lines they are supposed to be parallel but when you're drawing these two lines are actually affected by perspective and hence the angles are not going to be the same you see these two angles here they are so similar but they are actually different. The best way to understand all these uh, concepts is to draw, to get more practice. Uh, one app that can help you is uh, this app that I'm using right now. It's called Google Earth. So they have this 3D um, view where you can move around the city as if you are flying around. And this is nice because when you move up and down like this, you can see all the perspective, um, the perspective will change. So this is with me looking downwards into the ground, so there is no horizon. But all the top of all these buildings, you can see all these diagonal lines here, they are actually going to some vanishing point somewhere, which is on the horizon. And if you were to move down like this, you can see where all these lines are going. They are going to the vanishing points, which are on the horizon. So you can use Google Earth and move around and see where all those diagonal lines are going. Change the angle and see where all those diagonal lines are going. It's um, this app, it's really very fun. When you are using this app, when you have the camera in the sky, you are looking down like this, try to place the camera, I mean, move the camera down onto the ground as well. So have the camera right really low, as low as possible, so that uh, you cannot see the top of some buildings. So earlier on, if I'm looking like this, I can see the top of all these buildings. But if you move the camera down here, now you won't be able to see the top of this building here, for example. And again, try to find out where the vanishing points are for all these buildings. All the vanishing points for all these buildings are actually on the horizon somewhere hidden somewhere behind all right so i hope this video is helpful this is i think a complicated subject uh, it's definitely a subject that you will get to know or understand better when you actually uh, draw and think about it more all right i hope this video is helpful thanks for watching see you guys in the next video Bye. Wow, this is nice.